How's it going guys? Mason here. Uh, it's Monday so you guys know what time it is. It's Motorhome Monday. Today we're going to be going over the 2020 Tiffin Wayfair 19 TM. Um, this is a really, really cool, small, simple coach. Um, so a couple things that you'll notice immediately on this is you are going to have your propane tank right down here by the entrance to the door. Uh, but as you guys come around a little bit further, you'll have a nice bright outside LED marker light on it here. Um, your refrigerator, furnace, exhaust vents are here as well too. You get a nice big storage compartment here. It looks like they come with a water hose. You're going to have outlets inside this as well too. So if you want to put like a small fridge inside here, um, or even if you were setting up, this is a nice small coach that you can take and travel across the states with um, and try and really uh, like quarantine in it with everything that's going on now, which is really nice. Uh, if you were traveling to tailgate for a game, I know some stadiums are allowing some fans in. Um, so you can set up a TV out here, do whatever you need. Um, on the back side of this here, it does have a hitch on it um, where you can actually tow something behind this if you needed to. You have a big spare tire on this as well. Your hot water tank exhaust is back here. Um, you also get a little bit of a hitch pin storage system here, which is pretty cool. So it kind of hides it for you so you aren't misplacing any pins for when you're towing something behind you. Over here on the other side of this, you are going to have your fuel station here. It's going to say regular unleaded gas on this. And then right down below here, you are going to have your tank dump um, for your black and gray tanks on this. As long as I can get this compartment open here. Inside this here for you is going to be access to all of your low point drains. Um, you are going to have some other access in here to uh, to just making sure your hot and cold water lines are drained out more for winterizing. Um, it's getting right around to that season where it's uh, starting to get a little cooler out. Um, it's nice and comfortable. We had a really, really hot summer this year, guys. Um, again, inside here is going to be your power cord storage. Now, on the other side, there is an outlet inside here. Um, that outlet is for when you're using your generator. You have to plug your power cord into that outlet in order to complete the circuit to get power inside this while running your generator. Looks like they also give you a little reducer for it in case you want to plug into your house outlets at home and help keep your batteries charged. Underneath here as well too, you are going to get a 4,000 watt Cummings Owen generator on this as well too. Um, it's going to be enough power to run your air conditioner and run your appliances on the inside of it if you aren't going to be plugged in. like right here as well you're gonna have a battery tray here as well it's gonna have your 24 series RV marine battery on it you'll have your fresh water tank fill here and you'll have your city water connection here some things that you may be familiar with around a lot of coaches that we have um, and then you'll have a sewer hose that does come with this as well too and it has its own little storage compartment in this as well too which is really nice As far as the chassis goes on it, there's going to be on a Ford E350 chassis. Um, it's going to be the, the V10 engine. One of the really cool things and stories back behind this coach, um, Tiffin never really did a Class C gas unit. Um, they had partnered up with Adventure America, which was a big rental company. And what had happened was Adventure America sort of kind of went out of business and Tiffin was left with these. Um, we were one of the dealerships that bought in uh, some stock on these. We have a 19 foot one, a 23 foot one, and then we also have a 28 foot one that should be landing within the next month or so. Um, so they're a really cool, really simple coach as well. Um, we'll jump on the inside of this so you guys can check it out. So as you guys jump on the inside of it, you'll notice it is a little bit of a smaller coach. It's really, really nice, so it's easy for city driving if you have to go through big cities. Um, the nice thing about this being that it is a smaller coach, one thing you'll know on this is because of how light it is and how small it is, you get really, really, really great gas mileage on this. Um, but if you look up in the front, you're going to get your main sleeping area right up here above the cab. So you get almost a, uh, a full to queen size bed up here, which is really nice. Tons of storage inside this all the way around. Um, you do have a privacy curtain for the bedroom up here. Um, there's also hookups here to, to put a TV in case you want to hook up a TV inside here, kick back, relax, watch the game, do whatever you're going to uh, do out camping. You do get a nice little seat here. It's got a seat belt put in it as well so you can have a, a small child here or a grown child, one of the two that you need. I know some of them 40 year olds out there still act like children so you can put them here. Um, you do have the booth dinette. 
They actually put seat belts on both sides of this as well too. So not only do you have the seat belts in the front, so you can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people that are actually inside this, which is pretty, pretty insane. Um, as you turn around and look towards the back side of things here, um, you are going to have you are going to have a little bit of a, a smaller wet bath compartment inside here, which is really nice, more for like the, the younger couple that doesn't need a whole lot. Look at the sink, the toilet, nice little shower inside here as well too, which is great. And it does have a shower curtain inside here as well too. You are going to have some of your main controls back here for your gray tank, your black tank, fresh and battery, letting you know how full everything is, as well as your propane here as well. Water pump, you have the ability to turn on your generator and your hot water tank back here as well too. Um, you are going to have your nice little cook spot here. Nice simple little two burner cooktop. You have your hood light and your hood vent high and low. You are going to have a deep stainless steel sink here as well with tons of counter space. You're going to have an outlet here and an outlet underneath here as well. So you'll have space for your coffee pot. I know that's the most important thing when going out camping. Again, tons of storage inside this. They do nice little trays inside here as well just to hold everything in place so nothing slides out of the, uh, the cabinets. I apologize. I had a little mind fart there. Um, and then you'll have your wardrobe here as well too. So you'll get tons of storage inside this for any clothes you may be bringing with you. Soft closed drawers as well too, which is a really nice high-end feature you'll get on this. You typically don't see that on a, a, a gas unit. You typically see that once you start getting into the higher-end diesel coaches, which is really nice. Nice size refrigerator in here, and then you'll have your little ice box up top here as well. Then you'll have your microwave here as well too. One of the main things when you're going on camp is you always got to have a microwave. Whether it be raining outside and you're making popcorn, you need to reheat coffee, you have kids coming with you, you got to pop in the, the microwave mac and cheese real quick. This will be your best friend while out camping. So again guys, this is a nice really small coach. I already have the plate on it. We can take it for a test drive. So I'll just make sure everything's closed up and I'll be right in. point if anybody has any questions feel free to leave them in the comments I'd be more than happy to answer them for you how many does it sleep um this can sleep so your dinette will drop down into a bed it's a little bit of a smaller dinette so you can sleep like one there and then up top here you can sleep one to two people um really depends on the size this is more going to be for like a, a couple's coach um nice small simple easy to maneuver really great for a first timer as well too again guys it's a really nice simple small easy going coach um there's going to be a little bit of a, a less distractions in the front end so you don't get this big high-end fancy radio on the front um it's a little bit more of an older feel to it um a little bit easier to use type of thing you'll have your auxiliary hook up here to listen to music so you can still listen to music off your phone on this um but again a nice real simple easy going coach little 19 foot you don't have to struggle um, there's no real fighting the wind or anything on this because it's not that big which is great it does have a tow haul mode on it as well too again if you're towing something behind you do you need a specialized license to drive this on this you do not need a specialized license um, I 
believe it's anything over 26 or 24,000 pounds is where you'll eventually need a specialized license. So other than that, it's nice, simple, straightforward, easy. Show you to get you going, get you out, and get you camping. Um, it's for the person that wants the Class C, uh, but you don't really want all the high-end features and paying for stuff you're not going to use. This would be the coach to go with. Again, it's a, it's a small little 19 foot class C um, for the person that wants to get into a motorhome but doesn't want to be stuck and concerned about being in campgrounds where um, you have something too big and you can't fit in this is plenty small enough to fit into the campgrounds that have the, uh, the smaller sites um, because of the gas mileage on this this is gonna be a really great coach for um, if you're a snowbird and the snow starts landing and you want to get down south if you have a, a house down there um, where you want to stay at a campground this is definitely the route to go um, just because of how small and how much how much better gas mileage you'll get on something like this. Do you need an R endorsement for it? On this, you do not, um, because the overall length on it being only 19 foot, you don't need the R endorsement. Um, I believe it's anything over 35 foot is when you need that. But the nice thing on this as well too is you get these nice, nice long extended mirrors as well. So if you were towing something behind you, it's pretty easy to see uh, back behind you on the back side of this. Um, the mirror extensions on these as well too are great because of how small the coach it is as well. Um, if you've ever driven a U-Haul before or a small little moving truck or even a pickup truck, I mean this is going to be just about the same size as it. Um, there's not a, a whole lot of difficulty driving in it. Um, as far as the size goes as well too, I mean it'll fit within a parking space as well so you aren't, you don't have to park super far out if you have to stop at a grocery store or um, if you have to stop at a gas station. You don't have to worry about taking up that huge space that you made with like a 31 foot Class C which is great. But again, super easy to drive. I mean, there's no fighting the wheel or anything with this. Because of the size of it with the engine that's in it, again, you're going to get a lot of power on a small frame, um, which will allow you to tow something behind you if you want to bring a small car with you. Or if you were going to be taking this to the campground and bringing a motorcycle with you, this is definitely a way to trailer it as well, too. Um, this also works great if it's just going to be a couple buddies that want to go out and they're going to be doing snowmobiling this winter. Um, or they're going to uh, a racetrack or a dirt track and they're bringing dirt bikes with them. Um, this can sleep two, three people easily um, with two up top, one on the dinette, and you, you can be pretty comfortable in it as well. We got short frame. So one of the, again, one of the really nice things with this as well is just the overall size. There's no um, having to anticipate a turn that you would on a, a larger coach or the, um, the worry of backing into something because you can't see it. Um, this here again is a real simple, real easy, real small get out and go type of coach. Um, somebody that's looking for a Class C um, that doesn't want to spend that $70,000, $90,000 price point to get into something that has all the bells and whistles on it. Um, this is going to be a, a very budget friendly Class C that is going to have a lot of the ni nicer higher end finishes that you'll get with Tiffa. Anybody have any questions while we're driving? I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. No, we don't have any right now. Perfect. Okay, guys, this is going to be the 2020 Tiffin Wayfair. It's going to be the gas version of it. It's the 19 TM. Um, really, really easy driving. There's no fighting with it. No fighting red, white knuckling the steering wheel in order to drive it. Again, if you've driven a U-Haul before, or even if you have a larger pickup truck, um, it drives just the same. Okay, it's nice, simple, easy. There's no fighting, no playing with it at all. It's super, super easy to drive. Um, really nice turning radius on this. 
And the wide extension mirrors on this definitely make things nice and easy for backing up. You don't really have to fight anything with it. Nice, easy, simple, and straightforward, guys. Again, this is the 2020 Tip and Wayfair 19TW or 19TM. I apologize. Um, if you guys do have any questions on this, or you guys want to see the larger versions of it, feel free to call and schedule an appointment with one of us. You can call 716-694-0188. My extension's 406. Again, my name's Mason. Um, if you guys have any comments, please feel free to leave them in the video, and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. Um, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Go Bills, they just won this weekend, so that's great as well, too. Um, great way to start this season. So, again, guys, like, share, um, and we'll look forward to seeing you next Monday.